Okay, so now we're going to make a program about the Pythagorean theorem. Oh yes, we're going to need to import some things for this. So, there are a lot of different libraries in Python that we can't normally access, but we have to import them in order to access them. Like, like very uh, specific math things. Like, for example, we have to do the keyword from math, meaning from the math library. We'll import the square root function. So now we have access to a new function that we didn't have access to before. This function lets us uh, lets us compute the square root of different things, and we need to do that for this Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to uh, define a new function called oops get length. Oops, I forgot the space. Okay, get length. So this is going to get the length of one of the sides of the triangle. And the way I'm thinking this is going to work is we'll call this function two times from the main part of the program. So basically it'll be the same function that'll get two sides of the triangle and we'll use that information to calculate the third side. So it isn't going to have any uh, any anything in the, uh, the the parameters there. So the input section would be length, a variable called length, equals the user input. Float input, please enter length of triangle side. So I'm going to reuse this for two of the triangle sides. So please enter length of triangle side. So I didn't say like the right the you know the side B and side A. I'm just going to just copy this this the same thing twice. So it'll make sense once we actually run the program. So now the last thing in the function return this length. So all this function did, oops. All this function did is uh, is it got this user input and then it returns it. So this is just an example of how you know to pass things in and out of functions. So side one, oops, side one. So this is a new variable called side one, and it's going to be equal to the output of the function that we just made. So now you see why I actually made that function. So side one equals get length so that's this is what actually calls this function to run is when this is defined so now I, what i was talking about i'm going to call it twice except this one i'm going to call it side two so i literally just copied and pasted the same uh variable declaration this one's side one this one's side two so this is going to be the two sides of the triangle that the user input the user will input into the program and then the program will calculate the third the length of the third side based on these two measurements um, I think I got have some colons there okay maybe not we'll see if it works um, I'll define another um, another function called called calc triangle and it will take in these two variables that we just made side one and side two yeah and colon so this function is going to do all of the calculating so this is where all the math is going to be um, so we'll make a new variable called side three which we're trying to calc this is the part we're trying to actually calculate right now is equal to the square root See, that is that new function that we now have access to, thanks to being able to import square root up here. So this is a function called square root, and we will pass into that function side one times side one plus side two times side two. I think I got that right. Hmm, I'm getting some weird syntax right. Oh, oops. Okay, I think I got that right. Side one times side one plus side two times side two, all in one big, you know, parentheses wrap right here. So now the output 
print uh, the length of your third side is, and I guess we should round it too. Select. So the way we round it is do percent point two uh, f. Yeah, for two places after the after the decimal. And then another percent out here, still part of the uh, the round. And then side three, the that new variable that we made up here. So if if I got this right, oh wait, no, I still have to call the function. Call the function calc triangle because right now I I just defined the function but I didn't call it yet. So calc triangle with side one, oops, side one and side two in it. So let's see if this works. Please enter, please enter length of triangle side, uh, three. Please enter length of triangle side. So this other side is four. The length of your third side is five. Okay, that's how we know it works. Let's just run it again with different numbers. So <coughs> the reason it asks the same question twice right here is because we called the function twice right here. So the program just goes from top to bottom and then it sees this and it asks the user to enter the length of the side. So I'm gonna do uh, 40 and then it goes down and it sees this and it asks the user to enter the length again. So even after I push enter, it'll ask again. So 50. So that's why it, that's why it asks the same question twice. So that's why it's good to you know be able to put your code inside of functions because you can call it multiple times without having to copy and paste the same code. Because imagine otherwise you'd have to copy it and you'd have to you know make it this one called like get length one and then you'd have to make another function underneath it and you'd have to call it the like get length two and that's just copying the same exact code and it's like pretty pointless to do that. To copy the same exact code if you could just wrap it all in a function and then call it multiple times and you know imagine if you had to call it a thousand times you wouldn't want to have a thousand copies that you have to maintain and all that so that's just a good example of uh, how you can how you can use functions to uh, to copy your code without actually you know repeating yourself over and over so I'll see you in the next video